Tis said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, the elven resistance pacified, but it is said Gaspar yet plots his return from exile. How long before the Empress missteps, and he raises banners once more? This fear hounds her every move. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the Shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within? Or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Cassandra as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she immediately enacts reform, a new Templar order, and a new circle of Magi. The Seekers of Truth are rededicated to their purpose of protecting the innocent, a proclamation of support for the Inquisition is issued, recognizing its service to all of Thedas. Despite her popularity, the new Divine's reforms are seen by some as going too far. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. In the end, they refuse Cassandra's invitation to rejoin the Circle of Magi and instead reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The college, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. From the beginning, the college and the circle have clashed, and some fear it will lead to a new war of the mages upon themselves. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, she has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.